Sexual harassment in the workplace is a very real problem. Sexual harassment damages employees and companies. It can result in loss of productivity, poor performance, disruptive work environments, and loss of good employees and managers. Sexual harassment is against the law. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Civil Rights Act of 1991 prohibit discrimination of any kind. Sexual harassment is a form of sex discrimination. U.S. Supreme Court rulings have made employers liable for some types of sexual harassment and for failing to take appropriate action if sexual harassment occurs. That liability can also extend to managers, supervisors, and employees. Management and employees must be able to recognize what behaviors constitute sexual harassment and know the proper actions to take if incidents of sexual harassment occur. All employees, and especially management, must be aware of their responsibilities for recognizing, reporting, and preventing sexual harassment and the potential liabilities for failing in those responsibilities. In this lesson, you will learn the definition of sexual harassment and behaviors that might be considered sexual harassment. You will also learn steps to take if harassment occurs. You will learn actions that can be taken to help prevent sexual harassment and management responsibilities in responding to a harassment complaint. Finally, you will learn the definition of retaliation, as well as be able to identify examples of retaliation 